Okay, hi guys and welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be discussing travel cases for your watches. Now, I'll do a quick wristwatch check. I've got the... Actually, this is the second video I filmed today and I took the previous watch I was wearing off, which was uh, my new day date, uh, which I will be reviewing very, very soon. And this is my marathon, this is the mid-size marathon which I put on the bond strap, which I absolutely love. So, uh, really cool combo, I, I, I must admit I've been enjoying these two watches probably most of all recently uh, out of my entire collection. Anyway, uh, that's wristwatch check done, let's roll the intro and get into this video. Now this video comes about basically as a response to a lot of you guys been asking me about my watch case, a very cheap watch case. It has eight slots that I bought uh, because I knew I was traveling back to England. I, I, I do it kind of biannually I would say and I, I like to take a lot of watches with me. But now those of you who are not as horologically obsessed as me uh, won't probably need a case that big so I thought I'd come up with uh, some various options also I thought I would discuss the kind of pros and cons behind them there's various different styles uh, one more suited for a weekend away or one uh, if you like the one I use that uh, if you want to transport a, a substantial amount of your watches to another country for example uh, so without further ado let's change the perspective and take a closer look and here we are having a closer look at the three different options for travel cases now we'll start over here now this particular one is from Saltzman's watches and they are based in Rhode Island they actually have two stores this is from let me just get the box uh, this is from Wolf Designs established in 1834 and this is a two-piece case with a really nice little push down buckle you just push that out and it opens and then you fold it open and you have two spaces uh, it's signed on the inside very plain tastefully done the construction is is very solid very secure and and obviously when it shuts you have the two circles there holding the watch in place and we have those two grooves here for the bracelet or, or, or strap or whatever so it's a really nice design keeps the watches very secure probably the certainly the most luxurious out of the three uh, the downsides are well it's only a two-piece um, and if you wear perhaps one watch on and then two uh, in here you know it's enough for a weekend away uh, perfect if you go you know to Miami for the weekend or something like that however it is quite large it does protect the watches very well and very securely obviously but not the most compact way of taking your watches however uh, it's a really nicely made uh, case and very very solid and and will you know will really protect the watches so at the end of the day it's it, you know if you got really super high-end watches maybe this is the best way to go because uh, you, you, you're gonna rest assured that it's gonna be protected from anything if this is in your bag your your weekend bag whatever it is so i'll leave a link down below i, I can't remember the price i'm not actually i'm not going to say the price in ca case it fluctuates and it's it's beautifully made very robust uh really nice watch case okay moving on this one over here this has been my my travel watch case for the longest time this one is this one has a zip which you undo and if you open it up on the inside you have eight spaces uh now this is just a very cheap Chinese made uh, one from Amazon. I, I don't even remember the name. In fact, there's no, there's no markings on it whatsoever. Uh, it's, it's reasonably well made. It protects the watches. However, they do move about a bit. This is, is the only thing keeping them in place is this little uh, pad of leather. It's not as securely fastened. Also, these little... Uh, look, let's, just, let's just turn it around. These little elastic bands here. They can be quite tricky to get in and out, a bit fiddly. It doesn't really hold the watch down that much, they still move about. And also, it is really big. If you have to leave the country you know, in a rush, in an emergency, or you, wanna, or you have a second home on the other side of the world, 
and you want to take a vast proportion of your collection with you then this is the way to go this is a really good way to go in fact I if you see in my London videos this is where I took to the UK I was there for over a month uh, so I took the, pretty much most of my collection I had two watches on my wrist and uh, I think I had seven in here now there is another advantage to this one you can use the elastic to keep bracelets uh, in there or extra bands NATO straps that kind of thing so I think I had I had the mesh bracelet that's on my Squire I had it tucked into one of these as I said it, it, as you can see with the flighty there they kind of move about a little bit so it's maybe not the, the most secured but it does protect them downside of this is it's a little bit cheap uh, I mean it does the job I mean, who, who cares where it's made really at the end of the day it's just just I mean you're only going to use it a couple of times right so it doesn't really matter the other downside is it is big it's 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 you know look at look how comparison to the it's almost double the size of the uh, the wolf pack not wolf pack the wolf uh, case there um, but nonetheless it's very cheap and you can get it on Amazon and I'll leave a link down below okay the last option is now this is the newest uh, edition this is from my good friends at wrist candy watch club they are my go-to uh, recommended store for NATO straps uh, combination straps uh, they're also making a special edition Urban Gentry NATO strap which will be released hopefully at the end of this month I go to them basically because they are good quality I love the material of their NATO straps they are comfortable soft I just love them anyway uh, and they're reasonable and they have outstanding service really nice guys to, 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 to deal with so they sent me this to have a look at and I've got to say I, I really like this there's there's some really cool things about this so I've got three watches in there at the moment as you can see it takes five and there is an extra little space here if you want to tuck in your your watch tool they also sent me this so thank you thank you very very much um, guys if you look at this one here it's actually the uh, end is actually broken off and this one's bent out of shape. I'm going to chuck this one out. But anyway, I thought I'd keep it just to show you. So thank you guys for sending me this because I actually needed to get a new one. You know, you've got space for your tool there, really nice touch. It holds the watches securely. And the beautiful thing is if you don't use up all the spaces, it's obviously going to be smaller. So if you're using it to transport three, it's when you wrap it up, which you just fold over here. Oh, and by the way, really nice little embossed logo there. Nice touch. Beautiful high quality leather I'm very impressed guys if you're watching this please tell me where where you had this made it's, it's beautifully made so you just wrap it up like this obviously called a watch roll and then you just wrap that around like that and then tuck it in and it protects the watches very securely and uh, in the bag and the great thing is so I got three watches in here it's obviously going to be smaller if I had three watches and I was using this I'd still have to use the whole case well this would be smaller the other great thing is is that you don't have to put you know watches in it put some spare um, straps in that one here I've got a selection this is one of my favorite color ebbs forget who made this one beautiful suede one so you know I can I can put some if I'm going away on the weekend I can put some extra straps bracelets and the rest of it and because it's rolled the the inside of the leather protects them from protects them from knocking about to each other so that's really really cool now I really appreciate that so um, really ingenious very nicely made beautifully stitched very high quality and I'll leave a link down below so definitely a massive thumbs up from me my only critique is I've got a foot if you see here I've got a 42 millimeter SKX in here uh, the fit it's fine for 42 but if you're going if you've got really big watches let's say a, a 44 or even a 48 ab above it's going to be a tight fit that's the only problem but you know most of you guys tend to have watches similar size to me so should be okay so just just bear that in mind so um, really fantastic and you don't have to keep watches in it either so perhaps put um, Put your little opinel or whatever you use in there so fantastic your bracelets whatever so that's my little uh, my three options there uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below and let's take it back to the studio now all the details of the cases features are 
listed down below in the description. If there is any of your own cases you wish to share or recommend, please do so down in the comments. Uh, I really would like to hear some extra options, especially um, if you have really big collections. I mean, how would you transport? I guess maybe you'd have to buy several of these cases. I don't know. What, what options do you think are best? Also, single travel watch cases. Uh, it's something I haven't really looked at, but perhaps you guys could help me out with that. Uh, because sometimes, especially on a weekend away, I might not want to take... I might have two watches on and I might want to take one more. Or... Uh, one watch on and just one more or something like that so anyway please share down below uh, what cases you recommend i'm going to leave it there thank you very very much for watching please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it found it useful and i'll definitely catch you in the next one okay guys ciao